All right, welcome back to the Soup Coach Enough channel. In this video, we're looking at, uh, I guess, my teams for the start of the 2023-24 NFL season. Uh, so I'll be going through two teams today. I'll go through, I guess, my main sort of uh, draft league uh, team. Uh, and I'll also go through the sports deck team. So for those that are, um, I guess, new to um, NFL, the sports deck, Dream Team game is a lot like Super Coach uh, in the way that it's formatted, in the way it's priced, the way the scores are calculated, that sort of thing. So it's a nice one to dip your toe into the water in uh, if you are new to this. But um, also, if you can get involved with the draft, you know I'd highly recommend it. It's always lots of fun. Um, so yes, we had our draft on Friday night, um, and I'll just go straight to the recap so you can see. Um, so it is a super flex league, so two quarterbacks can start. Um, and it is obviously salary cap, as you can see by the offer amounts and the numbering and that sort of thing. Um, so I went in with the strategy of wanting to get one of the elite QBs and was willing to spend up uh, for them. Uh, but as it turned out, I actually landed two elite QBs with Josh Allen and Jalen Hurts in and I guess on top of that, whichever elite quarterback I wanted to grab, I was trying to stack them with their main wide receiver. So, uh, Stefan Diggs, you can see, came up as pick number 15, um, or nomination number 15, I should say. So, I, I got in on him for 41, which was about the going rate for wide receiver ones. Um, Josh Allen, so when he came up two picks later, I went hard for him. I was willing to pay more than 60, but I was glad it was 60. So, you know, 100 bucks for the stack, I was pretty happy with. Uh, and then Jalen Hurts, you know, he was going for 40 odds, and I thought I can't let people have him that cheap. You know, he's been my ride or die for the first couple of years of NFL fantasy. So I got on and um, got him. And then, unfortunately, this is where the uh, the first of a couple of errors uh, turned up. <laughs> um in that, you know, I was feeling quite confident about, um, the, you know, the double elite QB. I was talking a bit of shit. And um, essentially, we were at the pub, so I went to order a drink on my phone, but I was actually drafting off my phone. So as soon as I switched over to get on the, the app and order a drink, uh, I went on to auto draft, didn't think that bit through. And uh, unfortunately, I landed Josh Jacobs, uh, which wasn't ideal. But, I mean, he was running back one last year, so it's not the worst. Um, it, it, there could have been worse selections, I suppose, that landed in my lap. Um, but I was definitely looking to reinvest that money a little bit more evenly through the rest of the squad. Uh, then the second error, and again, this was my mistake of drafting on a phone. Um, yeah, all my other mates, they take their laptops and hotspot and all that sort of stuff. I was just like, I can't be bothered. <laughs> so I took the, the phone in. I was responding to a message from my sister. Uh, and unfortunately, I landed Cam Akers for five bucks. So I wouldn't have gone for Akers, really. Um, I know he does have the potential. You know, the LA Rams, he's the clear RB1. Um, and, you know, besides Cooper Cup, they don't have a lot of uh, attacking options. Uh, but, you know, it, it, I definitely wouldn't have picked these two guys, put it that way. Uh, so then we went sort of into a bit of a survival mode, I suppose. Because, um, yeah, my plan was to sort of load up through wide receiver. Like, you know, there's a couple of running backs you can see a bit later. I got for a buck. I would have sort of, you know, just started with that, really. I just wanted to get a really strong wide receiver core. So... I did end up getting Mike Williams for five bucks, which I think will be okay. You know, Justin Herbert back to full fitness. Um, the talk is with the new attacking coordinator, offensive coordinator there, rather, um, that Mike Williams, who's that deep target threat, might be uh, utilised a bit more. So it's uh, it's not the worst uh, wide receiver too. I uh, also got Gabe Davis. So for two bucks, so I've got both of Josh Allen's main wide receiver targets. So, you know, if, if Diggs has been double covered or whatever, it's going to make more space for Gabe Davis. So I was pretty happy with having, like, the, the triple stack. Um, and then after that, you know, I was down to dollar bids and stuff. So I threw in Kyler Murray nice and early. 
you know, as my backup quarterback option. You know, it, it, assuming he does get on the field later in the season, he could be handy to cover buys. Um, and I thought, you know, he's one I could probably sneak for a dollar that does have that upside. Um, there's still a free agent that I, I'm considering bringing in. Um, but we'll keep that one under wraps in case any of the, the boys in my league find out. <laughs> Um, and then the next sort of, I think by this stage, we must be getting pretty close to everyone was down to a few bucks at most. Um, so, you know, Elijah Mitchell for a dollar handcuff for McCaffrey, um, uh, probably get some, you know, players in his own right. Uh, same with Jalen Warren. So obviously, you know, probably behind Najee Harris, but he was super efficient last year, whereas Najee Harris wasn't admittedly Najee was injured. So this one is a bit of a punt. Um, and then just started to take some wide receivers, took the upside flyer with Kadarius Tony. You know, he's always injured, but if he can stay on the field at Kansas City, he's got a pretty good quarterback to run to him. Um, I think Sky Moore had just gone, so, you know, that was sort of that target out the window. Um, one of the boys put up Rashad Bateman, and I did have a dollar extra left, so I, I swooped in over the top. And got Rashad Bateman, probably wide receiver one at Baltimore. Uh, Jonathan Mingo at Carolina could, you know, he'll probably start the season, but could easily work his way up to wide receiver one with uh, Adam Phelan and, and DJ Chark being the, you know, the, the two other options there. Chark's injured. Uh, Phelan's just really old. So <laughs> I thought, take a fly on that. Um, got Alan Lazard. So I guess, you know, it has the connection with Aaron Rodgers. Um, I think he's currently wide receiver two on the depth chart behind Garrett Wilson. So it's not a bad one to have. Uh, another Kansas City flyer with Rashi Rice. Um, Jalen Hyatt, you know, New York Giants has had a bit of hype preseason. Um, and, you know, and I was going to probably pick a couple more, like uh, probably a backup tight end. Um that sort of thing with, or not a backup tight end, a tight end, and um, you know maybe a couple of running backs with my last couple of picks, but um, with the ESPN league you had to fill your team, so I had to have a kicker. I just picked Matt Gay at the Colts, just probably because of the name for a laugh. Uh, probably won't kick too many goals. Uh, the Eagles defense, you know, seemed to be the best option that was left on the board. A few of the boys went early on defense to try and get an advantage there. Um, and, yeah, happily I got Sam Laporta as the tight end with my last pick. So I didn't have a tight end. Uh, I was waiting. I was happy to pick someone like a Laporta. Um, so, yeah, happy to, to slot him in the team without any issues. Um, so, yeah, so I guess, you know, for those that haven't, uh, you know, seen the, the draft sort of set up before um, with the salary cap, you can see a couple of the guys here, you know, got in nice and early. Um Daniel Jones was actually the first nomination, and that was me put it up because one of my mates was saying about how good he was. So I thought for a laugh I'll put him up and and uh, Mick, one of the new boys to the, the comp, he uh, picked him up for three bucks. So it's not probably the worst pick, but, um, yeah, just trying to get some money off the board early. But, um, you know, another one of the boys went in early for Jefferson and McCaffrey. Um, you know, like... Yeah, Kelsey was nice and early nominated and, and got. Um, yeah, so I guess probably with our league, it, it was a bit away from tradition. Like, uh, I'll try and find some quarterbacks. Yeah, so like Mahomes was nominated at the start of the third round. I think I threw him out. I had the first nomination tonight. Yeah, so number 11 would have been a quarterback here somewhere too, I reckon. <laughs> if I can find the number, uh, but like, you know, Justin Fields was the 30th nomination, Lamar was the 20th, yeah, Geno Smith I threw out for a laugh as well, so I guess, you know, traditionally in, I guess, the more serious um, super flex leagues, the likes of Allen, Hurts, Mahomes all go super early, but with the, the, the nominations and stuff, it can throw up some curveballs and, and whatnot, so yeah, you can see like some teams... Uh, had like five picks in the top 20, others didn't even pick in the top 20 nominations. So, 
you know, there is different strategies and we'll see how it, uh, how it plays out. Um, but how do I get to my team? I'm still learning ESPN. So I guess if we look how we line up for round one. Um, so you got Josh Allen, obviously, and Jalen Hurts is the super flex. You know, that's going to be set and forget for the year. Um, Jacobs and Akers are my two running backs. Um, Stefan Diggs and Mike Williams will start in the wide receiver slots. Sam Laporta. Um, I am actually going to get rid of Elijah Mitchell for week one, I think. Um, and this will all happen a bit closer to the time. Actually, I'll, yeah, play Rashad Bateman against Houston. I think that's a nice matchup. Um, the Eagles' defense, you know, hopefully they don't have to do a great deal because of the attack. But, uh, yeah, and we might pick a different kicker or we might just leave it because kickers will score roughly the same. Um, so I wonder if I can move... I can't move him to IR. So... Hopefully, once the season sort of gets a bit closer, we these IR slots will open up. I can push Kyle down there, get another backup QB would be nice. Um, might have to look at these wide receivers and see which one I can remove for a second tight end, um, that sort of thing. And there's also trading options and stuff, but uh, that's where it sits going into week one. Actually, I think I did already put in a trade request last on Friday night. So yeah, that's that's the uh, the draft team. Uh, as for the sports deck teams, with the sports deck team, you can obviously pick whoever you want, uh, as long as it's within the budget. Uh, and so, I've gone heavy in QB again with you know the two the two guys. You know they're going to be make or break my whole season, I think, with <laughs> Allen and Hertz. Uh, and Richardson's the obvious choice as a cheapy quarterback because he's got that mobility. Um, He's probably going to have to run a bit given the Colts don't have a lot of great options in wide receiver areas and Jonathan Taylor's looking for an out. So it might be a tough season in that sense, but I think his rushing upside will, will provide good value. Um, so I've gone with uh, Saquon and Tony Pollard as my two sort of blue chip running backs. Um, you know, well, Saquon, he's probably, you know, the main playmaker on that team, Darren Waller aside, um, and Tony Pollard, you know, he's, he's definitely the, uh, the RB1 there in Dallas, um, so, you know, hopefully he gets a bit more workload and gets to that truly elite sort of status. Um, I guess a couple of more established cheapies in James Cook and Javante Williams. Um, Javante obviously coming off the injury, but I think can provide some good value. James Cook is looking more and more like the the three down back in Buffalo, so it's a good place to be. And then the two obvious rookies, Bijan and Jameer Gibbs. Um, you know, I could probably even start Gibbs over Cook, but um, yeah, just running with this for this week. I think they're against Kansas City, so um, we'll just give Gibbs a look and see how he goes. Uh, so with the wide receivers side, have tried to stack up, mostly because there's not going to be a lot of cheapies playing straight away. Um, so Jefferson, pretty obvious. Stefan Diggs, again, the stack with Josh Allen. I couldn't also afford AJ Brown, so I sort of had to pick one or the other there. I could have gone Brown just to differentiate, but I probably prefer Diggs, if I'm being honest. Um, I'm honor I say Brown. Um, Chris Olave, Garrett Wilson, these sort of breakout candidates. Um yeah, I've got them in, you know, hopefully one or two of them pop off and the other one I can always, you know, up and down to get um, a bit more value. Uh, Calvin Ridley, you know, for what he's capable of, he's at a really good price. Um, and then on well, bench spots, I've got Zay Flowers. You know, he could end up becoming the RB1, oh, sorry, wide receiver one there at Baltimore. And Sky Moore, he... You know, it could end up being wide receiver one at Kansas City, catching for Mahomes. All the reports are they've got that really good chemistry going, so worth a shout, I think, on him to start the season. Um, with the tight ends, gone uh, Travis Kelsey. You know, he's most expensive for a reason. Um, he's just, yeah, he's, he's the clear number one target at Kansas City. Um, so, yeah, so... you. 
I figured I'll, I'll splurge out there because I really like Musgrave and Laporta, the the two t- rookie tight ends. So Musgrave is the, the one I was alluding to before. I'll try to you know find a slot to bring him in on my bench and sort of lock him into my squad. So from all reports, he's going to be a pretty decent uh, option at Green Bay and Laporta. Um, you know, Detroit does love to use their tight ends, and he's a bit of an athletic freak, so um, it could be a really good match. Uh, and so then the kickers and defense, uh, I've basically just gone as cheap as I could with uh, Moody, Aubrey, and the Chicago Bears defense. Uh, and then with the money left over, there wasn't a lot of options, but I thought Atlanta at home against Carolina in week one, you know, might be good enough, and we'll see where we go from there. So yeah, so that's the uh, that's the update with the NFL teams. Uh, if you've got any comments or thoughts, feel free to to get them down below the video in the comment section. Uh, if you're enjoying the NFL content, remember to like the videos, subscribe to the channel, and if you are looking to to have a bit of a go at the NFL fantasy stuff, we've still got the league open. The uh, the link will be in the description below this video, so click on it, add a team. Um, at the moment, the plan is to look at around the 5th of September to draft us before the season starts. So uh, if you're interested, get on board. And other than that, I'll catch you in the next one.